Hi everyone, thanks for joining. This is Isa from Printstick in another video tutorial and this time I will teach you how to make stickers in a very simple and free way using your iPad. So the first thing you're gonna need is this app called Vectornator. As of the making of this video, the app is free. I know that it was not free in the past and that makes me think that it may or may not stay free in the future so if you don't have it I recommend you go get it right now um, just in case uh, there is another app that you can use which is called a graphic and personally I I use that one more they're both great um, but just so you know you can do that you can do what I'm gonna do in that app as well but this one is free so I wanted to show you how to use this one all right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on your app. You will create a new document. Click on custom size. Enter 5 inches by 5 inches is, I think, a good size. Normally, when I make stickers for planners, I make them no larger than 3 inches. So if you make them at 5 inches, you're making sure that you're going to have the best quality. And also remember that in the future, for example, if your drawing ends up being so nice that you want to print it on a t-shirt or you want to make a little um, greeting card out of it, you can come back to this design and make it even bigger. So that's what's amazing about the vectors. All right, so five by five, we'll make sure that inches is selected and then we hit create. And then we have our document right here. We're going to click on it. Perfect. All right, the next thing we're going to do, um, we are going to find some inspiration. So let's go to Safari, Google. And now you're just going to type whatever you want to create. So for this example, we're going to make an avocado. So I'm going to type that here. Great. And you can click on where it says images. Mine is in Spanish for some reason. Uh, and then, you know, pick whichever photo you want there's you know avocados are pretty simple so they're all basically the same I will go for this one okay then tap and hold the screen on the image so you get your menu and hit save image okay now that save the image to your camera roll now we go back to vectornator go to your image icon which is on the top right corner the second icon the one that looks like a flower tap there that's your images menu then go to all photos and select the avocado perfect now we will start drawing but we don't want to draw directly on this layer so let's go to your layer icon again on the top right corner this is the before the last icon click there and uh, simply click on the plus sign and that creates a new layer perfect now tap on that new layer and that's how you know you're drawing on that layer close that menu and now you want to choose a color that will look good on your avocado so choose the color picker icon which is down here and simply scroll tap I'm tapping on the screen with my pencil and then I'm going around to see which color I like you can slow down a little I think that's fine for now and now you go and select your pencil tool which I have here and so easy you don't need to know how to draw or anything just use a pencil to trace the avocado all the way around you know avocados vegetables are not perfect or it's a fruit right sorry all uh, right i'm finished so don't worry if it's not perfect just go around it it's so simple then on the top left corner with this arrow icon you're gonna click there and what that's gonna do if i click again on the avocado on the shape that i just drew i can move it around and i can uh resize it that arrow is going to allow me to select items on the art board. Uh, if you want to undo something, which I want to undo what I just did, click undo arrow on the top corner right here, and that undoes what you did. Okay, now I want to give the avocado this like extra black layer representing the skin, like a little outer 
outline, I mean. So you can tap on the avocado to select it. And then here, where you have this little circle with a red line crossing over it, you will tap there. And that will give you the option to modify the stroke of the drawing that you just made. As you can see, this little thing was turned off, so there was no stroke. If I turn it on, now there is a stroke. And as you can see, the color here, it says uh, number 000000, that's the code for black. And then you can see also that this little ball is selected a, a black color. So if I move it to the other corner, that's red. Uh, and if I move this little wheel over here, it's going to show me a ton of different colors. So you can play around with this wheel to choose any color that you want. Or if you already know a color that would work for whatever um, piece you're making, then you will just click on these numbers and you can enter whichever code you want in case you work with hex codes. Um, all right, so I just want black for the skin of the um, avocado and I want the stroke to be a little bit thicker. So down here where it says width, we're just gonna move the slider a little bit higher, that's too much. Let's try a three, too much. Let's try a two, good. And if moving this letter is a little hard, you can also click on here and just type two. Oh, sorry, that's 22. So just type two, done, perfect. So now you can click anywhere outside of this menu, good. And we have the first part of the drawing. So let's go back to our layers menu and let's create another layer to um, draw the seed of the avocado. So again, plus uh, icon, that creates another layer. But now I cannot see the original image, so what I'm gonna do is simply uncheck this avocado layer right here on the right, and now it's invisible. So the layer is still there, but you can't see it. Now just remember to draw again on the top layer. This might not even be necessary, but I like to have everything in separate layers, uh, just in case, you know, it's easier to work in the future when you have a ton of drawings. So select the new layer, and now you can see the bottom layer, which is the avocado image. Select your pencil again, and let's pick a color for the seed. So go to your color picker, and just go around tapping on the image to see which color you think will work. We can change this in the future anyway, but let's see, let's pick that one. Go to your pencil and start going around. As you can see, I have a black outline because I kept that selected from the previous image and we can get rid of that. But before that, let me just show you. This is the uh, arrow that you will use to move your image around and the arrow next to it to the right is to select the dots that um, make this image. This might be a little bit hard to understand if you've never worked with vectors, but um, all these dots are there like forming whichever line you made. You can see this little bump. I don't like it, so I want to fix that. Um, I'm going to click on the dot, and these little uh, levers, I guess, or these like lines will help me modify my, my, my drawing, my vector. So as you, you can play around. As you can see, if I go this way, then the little bump disappears. It looks better. So that's how you fix like little imperfections in your drawing. And now to remove the outline of the pit, because that I want it right now, you click on the arrow again to be able to select your drawing. Click on the seed again. And where the line icon is, which you can't see much, but it's right here on the bottom left corner, click there and simply turn the stroke off. Ta -da! And then there's no line. Perfect, let's see how our avocado is looking. So go back to your layers and now check the first layer so you can see it. Awesome, so now I think that it just looks weird because it's just like the same type of green and if you see the image, uh, the original image, there's like this yellow um, color too, right? The way we can do this is um, you will select on that first layer and as you can see from the original image, the, the yellow part is kind of the same size and sh not size, sorry, the same shape as the rest of the, of the image. 
but it's just smaller. So we can take advantage of that and instead of drawing again, we will just duplicate this one, make it smaller and change the color. So to do that, you have to select it with this arrow on the top left corner, click on it. And now we need to duplicate this image. So to do that, you will go to this um, little menu where it says edit, click on it, then select copy. It's copied. Then go again and edit and select paste. Then you can't see it, but it's right there. We have two copies of the same drawing. Now to modify the size, it's very simple. You just drag these uh, black dots around and you choose whichever size you want, whichever shape to. I think that's gonna be looking good, I hope. And then to change the color, First of all, I want to remove the outline. So we go to the outline icon on the bottom left corner, turn off, and we can just try to find a color ourselves. I think that looks good. To change a color of something that you already drew, you can also do that using the color picker. Uh, the way you do it is you, you click on the image of which the color you want to change tap there so you have it selected and then you click the color picker icon and simply tap and drag the pencil around to find the color that you want and untap or remove your pencil and that's going to change the color in this case i think i prefer the one that i picked by hand so that's what i'm going to keep perfect and then we are done this is so easy um now you can delete this image. The way you do that is tap on it and simply click on the trash icon right here. And you're done with your uh, sticker. So if you want to use it in good notes, the easiest way to do it is select all of these uh, shapes using this arrow selection arrow, which is top left corner. Tap and drag your pencil all over the image. As you can see, there's three elements that were selected. Then go back to your edit menu, click on copy, then you are ready to paste. Go to good notes, find your sticker page or whatever you want to use it, click paste, and there you go. You have your own sticker. Now you can resize, you can move around, tap and hold, select edit, and then you have this little green dot that will allow you to rotate your avocado. Perfect. If you are not using good notes and you need this image to be a PNG, that's also very easy. You just hit on the um, share or export icon, which is on the top right corner. This little box with the arrow pointing up, click there and select PNG. We select PNG and not directly save to camera roll because we need the back or we prefer the background to be transparent. So in this you know menu now you can select whether you care about it being transparent or not and we do want it to be transparent so that if you export this image to another app to use in your planner you know it's just better to not have a white background that usually interferes with um, the rest of your stickers or it just looks you know less good in your planner so turn this transparency option on you can select a name for it avocado and just click save and now you just select the destination where you want to save the image so that could be Dropbox or any other app that you have or you can simply click on save image and now saving into your camera roll but choosing the transparency will ensure that when you access your image well, we can't tell now because it's all white, but let's go to Good Notes and let's insert this new image that we just um, saved to the camera roll. So we select Photos, All Photos, and it's the very last one. As you can see, we know already that it's transparent because everything around it looks black. That means that there's no background. So click on it just to make sure. And yes, the image is still transparent, but this is a PNG that you have saved somewhere so you can you know, save it in your hard drive um, just to have your collection of stickers or you can export to another app. 
Remember that if you think that you want to make uh, changes to this design, you should just keep your vector nader file uh, saved. At any time, I can come back here and be like, oh, now my avocado needs to be blue. Yay. So whatever change you want to do or you want to make it bigger so you can print it or do anything else, you can come back here um, and change it. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this answers some of your questions regarding how to make stickers to use in your digital planner. Don't forget to subscribe because I will be uploading a ton of tutorials and other fun videos about digital planning that I hope will be very helpful. Thank you and see you next time.